New scrutiny on the safety of the water millions of Americans drink every day. Communities started adding fluoride to the water supply back in 1945. Yeah, now a new analysis finds a potential link between added fluoride and lower IQs in children, and it's causing concern. Senior health correspondent Monica Robbins joins us to explain. Yeah, the study was published in JAMA Pediatrics, and it concludes there is a statistically significant association between higher fluoride exposure and lower IQ scores in children. Now, the study, funded by the National Institutes of Health, analyzed existing research conducted in other countries and based on fluoride levels more than double what's recommended for drinking water in the U.S. But the studies found pregnant women and kids are getting fluoride from many sources, including water, and that total exposure is too high. A local dental professor agrees that too much fluoride is certainly detrimental, but there's more to consider. High levels of fluoride are not good. Uh, and I think one of the bigger concerns is, you know, when people and children swallow toothpaste that has fluoride in it or mouth rinses that have fluoride. And those concentrations of fluoride are much higher than what's in, uh, you know, drinking water. Sugar, processed foods, screen time, social media, those are things that all, uh, you know, negatively imp impact uh, the ability of a child to develop in a healthy way. Now, the research is being criticized by many in the public health sector. 52 of the 74 studies it looked at are rated low quality, according to the authors themselves. The CDC, American Dental Association, and American Academy of Pediatrics supports fluoridating water, saying it reduces tooth decay by 25 percent. However, many agree that it may be time to reevaluate fluoride in drinking water, despite research showing that when it is removed, tooth decay cases go up. All right, well, according to the city of Cleveland, the S Cleveland Division of Water provides drinking water for 1.4 million residential, commercial, and industrial customers. So how much fluoride is in Cleveland water? Yeah, well, the Cleveland Water Department adds 0.7 to 0.9 milligrams per liter, resulting in total concentration of about one milligram. When you factor in, remember, there is naturally occurring fluoride from minerals. Now, federal environmental and health authorities are recommend reducing added fluoride levels to just 0.7 milligrams. But keep in mind, Ohio's revised code may mandates adding fluoride to all communities with more than 5,000 people, although communities can exempt themselves from that law. Hmm. But again, the, uh, the dental professor I spoke with said it's really important to remember there are studies out there that show when the fluoride is removed, tooth decay cases go up two or threefold. Wow. Well, oh, certainly something that we're all going to have to keep yeah. an eye on. Yep. I mean, there's nothing that's coming Im imminently, but... Uh, we're probably going to see some changes. Absolutely. All right. Well, thanks so much, Monica. Sure.